While the kids are in bed and the popcorn is in the nuker and mom and dad are sitting down and getting ready to reflect on the events of the day. It, it's time for them to have some alone time. And that's what we're going to be talking about today in John, the 13th chapter, verses 31 through 35. Some alone time to reflect uh, with Jesus and, and his disciples. After Judas had walked out, Jesus was alone with those who were his own, the ones who were his closest friends. And, and it was a time uh, for reflection, a, a time for parting words, and, and a time for a new command. Reading from John, the 13th chapter, verses 31 through 35. When he had gone out, speaking of Judas, when he had gone out, Jesus said, Now is the Son of Man glorified, and God is glorified in him. If God is glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself, and glorify him at once. Little children, yet a little while I am with you. You will seek me. And just as I said to the Jews, so now I say to you, Where I am going, you cannot come. A new commandment I give to you, that you love one another. And just as I have loved you, you also are to love one another. By this all people will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. Now, let's go back up to the top and just for a while look at verses 31 through 32. When he had gone out, Jesus said, Now is the Son of Man glorified, and God is glorified in him. If God is glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself, and glorify him at once. So, there are three things that we want to see in these two verses. Uh, first of all, this is a time of reflection. Uh, it, it is a time for Jesus to be glorified, uh, for he had completed what he came to earth to do. And, and he says he was to be glorified. He's looking towards his uh, execution, towards his crucifixion. And, and yet he says that this will be glory for him. He will be glorified in, in his crucifixion. Um, a little hard for us to to understand that concept, but that's why Jesus came to Earth. He came here. He lived to die, and, and so he says that he is going to be glorified because he he has completed the work that he came to Earth to do. But also, if he is glorified, but God also is glorified. Uh, God promised back when Adam and Eve fell that he was going to set things right, that he was going to make things right, that he was going to cure the problem of the separation between God and man. And what Jesus is going to do on the cross is, is the fulfillment of that promise. God has kept his promise to mankind and God will be glorified uh, in what's going to happen. And the time to be glorified is now. Uh, Jesus is telling his disciples, the time has come. It is time. Uh, this is going to happen. It's going to happen now. Moving on to verse 33. And Jesus said, Little children, yet a little while I am with you. You will seek me, and just as I said to the Jews, so now I also say to you, where I am going, you cannot come. So this was a time for parting. Uh, Jesus' thoughts now turned from his own glorification to his disciples, and, and what would life be like for them? How would they be? What is their condition? And it is a tender moment. Uh, he refers to them as little children. And, and that's not being condescending. He, he's, he, he is uh, the master of the feast, the feast of the Passover. And being the master of the feast, that means he is the father figure. And, and so it is a tender moment, and, and it is a, an expression of, of tenderness and love 
that he refers to them as uh, as little children. It is a term of affection. But he tells them that he's going away. Um, and we've all had moments when we, you know, left people, left places, uh, and moved on to to other things. Well, that's what Jesus is doing. He's leaving people that he loves and, and that love him. But he tells them that they can't follow him. He they can't go where he's going. And now eventually they will, and, and he will tell them that in, in uh, later on. Now in chapter 14, verses 1 through 3, he, he's going to tell them that, yes, he's going away. He's going to prepare a place for them. And, and if he prepares a place for them, he's going to come back to get them. But right now, where he's going, he can't. He, they can't go with him. But he'd be returning uh, to take his disciples, to take his people, to take those who belong to him home to the Father. Verses 34 through 35. A new command I give you, that you love one another, just as I have loved you. You also are to love one another. By this, all people will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. So, Jesus has shared with them a time of reflection and a time of parting. And now it was time for a new command. These disciples that he was leaving were arguing on the road to Jerusalem. They were arguing about who was going to be their greatest in the kingdom. And so he had given them an example of how they should be serving each other. By washing their feet, he gave them an example of them being servants of each other. So this command to love one another isn't isn't so much a new command as it is an enhanced command because under the law of Moses they were already told to love their neighbors but Jesus made this a new command that they were to love each other in the same way that he had loved them that they were to follow his example they were to love each other with sacrificial love and we too are his disciples. And so this command is, is to us. We are to love each other sacrificially. Well, that's our study for today. I want to leave you with these thoughts. Jesus is coming back to gather up those who belong to him. The ones who love each other sacrificially. The ones that he gave his life for. He's coming back for us.